what's going on everyone um today we're going to be doing a quick video on kimchi and there are many many types of different kimchis out there um the one i'm going to be showing you today is with napa cabbage so what i did here was i took off the outer leaves and eventually we're going to have kimchi that looks like this right here here we see some scallion and daikon and I'm going to quarter this Napa cabbage. Um, here you can see me cutting it in half. And then from there, I'm just gonna cut it in half again so we have these nice, beautiful wedges. As far as the salting process, I like to brine mine in a 3% salt solution. And all it is is um, just water, salt. Um, I can't recall the ratios right now, but I will have it in my description along with the process on how to make this brine and the kimchi. But basically you're gonna have your cabbage soaking in this salt brine solution until it looks like this slightly wilted and easily pliable while your napa cabbage is soaking in the salt brine um, you're going to want to cut your scallions daikon carrots asian pear this is how my maize and bloss looks then i also made a paste this paste is going to get rubbed between the leaves of the cabbage what you see now are all of my vegetables that have been rubbed with the uh, kimchi paste that we made and this is a fresh look at the kimchi you really want to make sure that all your veg is submerged under the liquid um, as you can see it starts to float after a couple days and um, you know i put some gloves on then press my cabbage and other veg down into the brine and just make sure that it's all submerged and everything is kind of just staying nice and covered in that liquid you don't want to risk having any mold growing on there and it shouldn't but there are always possibilities as you look closely you'll see some um, bubbles popping up right there that's a nice telltale sign that your ferment is going really good. This is the end result after five days of sitting out at room temperature. Hope you enjoyed this. Please leave a like, subscribe to see more of my content.